With the lacrosse season finished, we caught up with UVA men's lacrosse coach, Lars Tiffany, to get his thoughts on this past season, looking ahead to next year, the state of the program, and his goals for the future. What were your expectations going into last season? Yeah, expectations were big last year. After coming off a national championship in 21, and uh, and yes, to two-time defending champs, but you know, with the gap year in between there, so really feeling what we'd done in 21, and having a lot returning, built an expectation level of hey, this this could be a legitimate chance for a three-peat, and so fighting the expectations um, was something we started right away. Like hey, let's not worry about what happened in the previous years. This is going to be its own entity. Even though we have a lot returning, and it's always a new makeup, it's a new chemistry, and so um, that was that was our new challenge. And um, to be honest with you, I don't know if we succeeded because we didn't get to the final four and certainly didn't get that three peat. Speaking of challenges, can you talk about some of the challenges that the team faced this past season? We didn't create our own challenges. Um, the challenges that we had to overcome were a lot of injuries, like sort of what you would normally expect as a sports fan. And uh, you know, Connor Schellenberger and Matt Moore were fighting through things. Cole Kastner, Peter Lasala, and they they did a great job grinding, but it didn't feel like we were a hundred percent healthy most of the spring. So that was the challenge: is that we probably didn't overcome well enough. What do you think of some of the highs of yeah. the season? Well, the highs are certainly how well we did in the ACC play. Um, I like to measure ourselves against Tony Bennett. Tony Bennett with five regular season ACC titles. It seems impossible when you've got the Dukes and Carolinas and, and the other dozen ACC schools they've got to contend with, and to have five of those. And so that's the challenge, is how well do you do within your conference? And ACC men's lacrosse is very competitive. Like, ACC is very competitive in most sports. And to win a title in the ACC with the regular season, that's certainly a high point. Five and one. Uh, we did have a loss to Duke, but outside of that, uh, we played really well in the ACC. And that's really important to us. Just, you know, to, to that, comp, that conference championship. What are your initial thoughts on next year's team? We should have as high of expectations as we had this past year because we have so much returning. We lose Matt Moore, who's already proving himself to be one of the best players in, in the world because he's, he's got three hat tricks in a row in the PLL, in the Professional Lacrosse League. He is someone that's going to be very difficult to replace. And there's a couple of other solid role players like Jack Peel, Jack Simmons, Regan Quinn. But there's a ton coming back. This extra year because of COVID has allowed Petey LaSala, Kate Southstead, Peyton Cormier, Grayson Soliday, Xander Dixon um, to return, Jeff Connor to return for a fifth year. And that's those six men have tremendous talent. They have a wealth of knowledge, institutional knowledge, meaning they understand our lacrosse program, they understand our schemes, our plays. They are phenomenal, phenomenal athletes and really, really good men and really great lacrosse players. To have them back for fifth year is a godsend. I mean, it's such a, such a treasure that we have found to have them return. And so we have a, so much coming back. And then we really like this incoming first year class. Uh, there's some really, really talented players headlining it, whether Truett Sunderland, Joey Terenzi, John Schroeder, Matt Geldridge, many others that I think can really impact us. So, we have a wealth of talent uh, coming in as we prepare for this 22-23 academic year in the spring of 23, so it's really, really exciting. What do you think of the state of the program right now? I'm really happy where we are. Despite having not earned a spot in the Final Four and not winning a national championship in 2022, we had to make a seismic shift culturally with our who we were as men, what the men's lacrosse reputation was going to be here in Charlottesville. And so we, in the six years that Sean Kerwin, Kip Turner, and myself have been here. We've attacked the culture, having a much healthier relationship with alcohol, eliminating drugs, making good sound decisions, and being com good community servants, being part of the solution as opposed to the problem. And we've gotten there. Now, you can't rest on your laurels in that category ever, but that is a goal to continue to be taking positive strides there. It's something that we've recently realized in the last couple of years, and we continue to do so. I'll be very, very happy. Um, and continuing to bring in the best talent we can, good men, and continuing to be a program that is in that upper echelon. You see it in college football where year in, year out, 
You, almost, you can just say those four or five schools, Georgia, Bama, Ohio State, um, amongst those top, that, that's what we need Virginia. Every year, year and out. We're just, you're just, it comes rolling off the tongue when you say, all right, who's got a chance, legitimate chance to win a national championship? That's our objective that every year Virginia's in that realistic hunt. What are your overall goals for the future of UVA men's lacrosse? I always like to step back and step away from the field a little bit. It's the ultimate goal is to build difference makers and leaders. Men who will go out there and be others focused, who will create change and be really, really great men, whether it means being a great father, being a great leader, whether it's of a small business, a big business, a small little group, whatever it is, be a difference maker and be thinking about others. Um, and continuing to strive for those goals is something that's really important. Um, academically, you know, we've raised the bar of what we're doing on the, uh, in the classroom, so we continue to do that. And then when it comes on the field, it, it, I'm not a Brown and I'm not a Stony Brook anymore. I'm in Virginia. So the goal is to win a national championship, period. Used to have different language when I was at other institutions. You know, strive for, pursue a national championship. That's not the objective here. It's to win a national championship. Those are real tangible goals that we have here.